an arrogant wanker? You know who wanking is, right? <laughs> wank, wankster? Wank, no. Like, wank, 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 wank. Yeah, wanking it. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't say that. Wanking it. I know what she's all about. <laughs> <laughs> In post, I'll have to figure out whether we're actually going to keep that on the podcast. No, I didn't know you were recording it. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You know, you're under some fire, under some scrutiny here and there because people are kind of just doubting. They're like, man, I don't think that guy could be natural. He's pretty goddamn jacked. (laughs) <laughs> and he's lifting uh, he's lifting some heavy shit. So me, I would always tell people like, well, that's exactly what I say is look at the progression. Like, show me where I jumped up uh, 200 pounds in a year. Right. You know what I mean? In terms of my lift and, and show me where I put on, you know, 10 pounds of stage weight in a year. It, it never happened. You just typically don't see that. You don't normally see someone. Uh, weighing 220, being 5'10", and being 8% body fat. So. When you're dealing with people in the upper echelons of strength and bodybuilding, you're dealing with genetically elites and you're dealing with outliers. So Don't work your ass off at something for 15 years, and if you still suck at it, well, then we can have a conversation. You know right. what I mean? They go play but my, chess my guess or is if you work at it for a long time, you're probably not going to suck at it. But if you're really now, fat, you can just say you're trying to be economical about it. <laughs> yeah. People yeah. ask me, what's more important, experience or science or, or research? And I'll say, look, you know, they're both important. They both serve unique functions. And I, I will never say that, you know, you should have one, not the other. I think both are important. Um, in power of things, there's certain reasons why coaches are bad. And there's certain things that they learn that don't carry over to your regular person because power lifters let's face it a lot of times they're absolutely fat. not my best bench press ever is uh, 395 in the gym okay so so should i be and i i train you know bench press two three times a week that's, I keep my that's nutrition. terrible lean by the way <laughs> you should go get an egg mcmuffin <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe if i just had mcdonald's more often I, i'd be able to hit that 400 pounds son of a bitch you need but, a, you need a slingshot or something what are two like top supplements that you'd recommend taking probably not counting whey because not really a supplement in my opinion um what are two scams speaking of uh antler spray in fact the matter is uh, whey is not really a fast protein it's pretty normal uh pretty similar to most other protein sources it's just that casein is actually a real oddball casein is the one that's like really slow growth All hormone other- is pretty fast right what's that growth hormone is that pretty fast <laughs> oh quote's going to go up on Twitter. Yeah, there we go. That's all anybody's going to get from this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anal can be a good thing. Dr. Lake Norton. Your, your butthole is very confused on exactly D- expand, contract. It's, it's not good. I don't know if the Zercher harness maybe perhaps should come with a butt plug. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.